Hello. Okay. We're leading the hybrid approach to AI. This means packaging of human intelligence and artificial intelligence together in one package in order to process data very accurately and reliably. The idea is that every time the AI system fails, where the confidence levels of the algorithms are not enough, a human kicks in, takes over the tasks, and complete it. That's the idea of the hybrid AI. So, so this is exactly a classic case of what the hybrid is meant to overcome. This is an annoying sentence. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. This is one of the top most popular sentences that chatbots utter, and users just hate it. Okay? So at the core of our, of our uh, hybrid service is a human-powered workforce, a distributed vast group of people that we organized in a way that guarantees availability of a human brain whenever the AI fails, needs it. And this needs to work pretty quickly. Imagine API calls that comes in and they need to be picked up and handles, handled instantly by people all around the world. Chatbot makers are doing all kinds of interesting things with the workforce using the API. Some of them are tasks that require a really quick response, real-time response, and some of the tasks are batch mode to label data and things like that. What I'd like to do today is share three insights or three key tactics on how we see that our customers are using our workforce um, to improve, to keep their bots in shape and to constantly improve their chatbots. So this is what we do. This is what they do with us. The first thing that I want to mention, the first tactic, is scoring or having very clear visibility on how well my bot is performing in the wild. Usually what we see is that teams, ML teams, invest a lot of time in labeling data for training and for testing. And practically, that's going to be the last time that any component in the system will be measured for precision. From that moment on, when they launch the product, usually teams rely on feedback coming back from users. Are users content? Are, using, are users flagging content? Are users complaining? Um, is the analytics showing that users are churning? So that's a very blurry way of seeing what's going on. That's not, what, that's not something that's going to let you improve. So um, tip number one is to use this scoring API. The way that it works is that you push continuously. You push updates of, of pairs, inputs and outputs, requests, and what your chatbot decided to do with it. These are pairs that you send continuously. And we take a smart sample out of that and send that to human verifiers, okay? Humans that, in, that look at this and decide whether this was done correctly or whether it's a mistake. And if it's a mistake, what kind of a mistake it is. And when we get enough updates, enough uh, scoring, the lights come on and what you get is a scoring dashboard that shows you exactly in a very live and updated manner, you know exactly what's going on with your bot at any given time. Measuring performance is very hard. It requires humans. If we had some kind of an algorithm or a trick where we can know if our bot is off and misbehaving, we would probably avoid it in the first place. So it requires human, and this is an easy way on how exactly what's happening with our bot in the wild. Tip number two, expanding the jargon. I think these guys also mentioned something similar that you need to do. One of the tasks that you need to do when you're building a chatbot is to expand the jargon. Get all the variations of how of the requests that you want your chatbot to handle. So I want to buy flowers, or do you sell flowers, or I forgot, I forgot to buy my wife a gift, what can I get her? These are all different ways of saying the same thing, and you want to expand the jargon. Initially, that's not really a big deal. It's pretty easy to do. But when, you're, when you want your chatbot to be smart and rich in the requests that it's able to handle, you want to have as many options to cover all the options and to cover it from as many different people as you can. Cover it in all the ways that people say those things. So I can show you a tool now that cannot make this any simpler. This is a tool that we uh, provided. It's an add-on for Google Spreadsheet. 
and, it's, and it lets you uh, engage the workforce in the easiest way possible. No coding is needed. All you have to do is put in one place the seed list of examples of what you want to do. This is supposed to run. I hope it works. So in one place, you're supposed to give the list, the seed list, the input that you want to work on. Right over there, you're supposed to give us the instructions of what you want the workforce to do. You click a button, and after a few minutes, all the information just flows back into your worksheet. There's nothing easier than that. And the next step of what you're supposed to do is just take this information and feed it forward to the platform that you're using to build your bot. So this is tip number two. Last, and definitely not least, is the ability to continuously label data and use that for retraining. Another pattern that we see all the time is um, sort of a drift in the input data. So as your bot matures or as your product matures and grows, um, the audience changes, the age of the people, the way that they interact with your product, the questions that they ask. So your product changes, and so, that, so does the input data. It evolves. Um, so the way to overcome this is to continuously pick up information that flows through you and to retrain and to relabel that, have that labeled automatically, and to retrain your models based on that. Some of the models that you build, it depends on how you build it. Some of them are able to incrementally train based on specific labeling data, and some just need occasionally to take a stop and retrain everything from scratch. This depends on you, but in both cases, the good news is, there, is that there is a really easy way to label data automatically and continuously and feed that back into your system. And if you do that, you're going to get a sharp and up-to-date bot that continuously improves. We would be happy to speak with you at the booth. Uh, we have a booth here to show you more demos and answer questions. Thank you very much, guys. This was a pleasure. Enjoy the conference.